Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bo. We got uh, Chris here for Sudden for Strike. Uh, well, or Sudden Strike 4, right? <laughs> yeah, hi, I'm Chris. I'm the producer for Sudden Strike 4, uh, the most hardcore RTS coming to a console. And it's the first time we showed a PC4, uh, PS4 version of Ooh. the game. Okay, well, I think you're going to have to take it out. So explain, what is this game? So, yeah, like 10 years ago, Sudden Strike was the get-to, uh, the go-to RTS series out there. It's a tactical RTS game, no base building. You need to work hard on your units and what you get at the beginning of a mission. And uh, you need to use tactically wise things like flanking maneuvers, pins and movements, whatever you name mm -hmm. it. Um, what we have here is like we have three big campaigns, German campaign, Soviet campaign, Allied campaign. Each of them has seven missions and uh, it spans across like all of the war and all of the big battles that you want to see in, an, in a uh, World War II uh, game like Stalingrad, Operation Overlord, Market Garden, whatever, you name it. Mm -hmm. um, so what you see at the beginning of the game or of each mission you kind of jump in it and you have like an overview historical accurate of course i mean yeah. uh, at the beginning of the development we kind of said to us okay we want to be as realistic as gameplay provides so if something doesn't feel fun then then we kind of make amends but mm -hmm. as as long as it stays fun like let's be as realistic as possible we're gonna have to put fun in context because obviously the siege of leningrad was was less than fun for the people in it, but as us as gamers, we get to experience history through the magic of video games. Yeah, right. I mean, we're not a documentation, you know. We're still a video game. We want to have like uh, like a challenge in it. So okay. so that is the thing. Um, so you jump in, and the first thing that you need to do is you select one of three commanders whose tactics you will follow mm -hmm. in, in the mission. You can choose for each mission, really. Okay. Uh, the first one is focused on infantry tactics, the second one is focused on armored division tactics, the third one is focused on support, artillery, stuff like that. Oh, okay, cool. And uh, when you progress throughout the, uh, throughout the campaign, you get stars, depending on how well you play. Mm -hmm. And with these stars, you unlock new uh, skills for each of them. Oh. Uh, well, now what we didn't want to have is like okay we have 300 skills and each of them gives you like five percent up on this and five percent up on this and which you don't really see in the game we wanted each skill to have really impact and new ways to play it so you might unlock smoke grenades and then you might think oh wait this mission that i had back then like how would i actually play this as if now have smoke grenades so you could m play much more stealthy so you go back and play the mission again and it plays totally different so, oh, okay yeah but there's nothing like i go to 1945 and then jump back to 1941 and do it with like new tech, right? <laughs> no, all the tech that is there is kind of like historically accurate, so you it is available throughout all of the all of the war. Um, but it's kind of like you unlock the the like thinking about the tactics. Okay, yeah, now we can kind of use smoke grenades and blah 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 blah, blah something. Ah, okay. like this. And yeah. it's gonna be more context within that actual battle. So this is just World War Two mostly, or yes, this is just World War Two. Like we begin. Uh, with the tutorial like the attack on Poland and the Russian campaign ends with the liberation of Berlin. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. And it's just the European scenario for now. Like, okay. yeah. And you chose, of course, the Russians to win Berlin opposed to, I don't know, the other parts. The other parts. <laughs> thanks. Yeah, no, we have no part in this at all. Say, I mean, the, the... All right, guys, and thanks. The, and the, no, Allied, the Allied campaign actually <laughs> uh, ends with uh, the crossing of the Rhine. Operation Plunder, which really? was like one of the it's most huge, important yeah. things awesome. back then. Yeah. Well, I'm actually a World War II buff, so I actually know what you're talking about when it comes yeah. to all these things. So I'm like, oh, interesting. All right. Okay, so, nice. so, 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 so let's, let's some, jump in. I mean, um, action. let's jump in. This mission is the Siege of Leningrad. Um, so what happened back then was the, the city was besieged by the, by the Germans from the west side, encircled. And uh, to the east of Leningrad, there's a large lake called Lake Ladoga, which was frozen over in the wintertime. So what the Russians did, they built a road over the lake um, and brought in supplies. That is why the road was called the Road of Life back then. Mm -hmm. uh, and your your take uh, your task in this mission is to keep the road open uh, and keep like bring in the supply trucks okay. while the Rush while the Germans are attacking from the west. Okay, so this is gonna be a real quick kind of little hands up of what it is. Probably be rolling some other footage on top of that, but uh, yeah, I mean it, it it looks it it this should be good. I think we're gonna be in for some good times, Blake. I'm, I'm ready. You're ready, Chris. Are you ready? I'm fucking ready for this. Yes. All right. Born ready. Right. <laughs> More than ready. Yeah. <laughs> like it's his game or something, all right? 
we go. God, you're just so happy just sitting there crushing like chocolate, dude. I'm, I'm down. <laughs> you're like a little Swiss lady just sitting there eating chocolate and making comments. It's perfect. I love Swiss treats, by the way. <laughs> just saying. All right, so here we so, go. So let's see. I mean, uh, I like to show this mission because it all it shows that we want to have some kind of unique mechanic for each mission. Mm -hmm. The unique mechanic in this is it's a frozen lake, so you can kind of shoot into the ice and, and sink the Germans uh, before they mm -hmm. even get to shoot your units. So, um, oh, just a second, let me cook. Wow, this. I would so rather play this on a PC. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, let, well, you can, you can. Let's, okay. That's not the problem. I mean, you can play it on PC. It's just the first time you show it on PS4. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Got uh, you. Yeah. Uh, All right. All right. Well, let, let's say, I mean, uh, <laughs> speaking of that, I mean, the, the, the biggest challenge to bring an RTS to, to consoles is the controls. I mean, yeah. um, so just to run you through the controls a little quickly, like what you do is um, selecting units is done by pressing the X button and then drawing a circle around them. So on PC, ah. you, would, you, would, you would do a square, yeah, but yeah, yeah. because in, on, on console, the cursor is always in the middle of the screen, it feels much more natural to have it, uh, to have it draw a circle than a square. Mm. Uh, and then you just uh, give orders with the... Oh, that tank got fucked big, didn't it? Yeah, that way we synced the first one for <laughs> uh, like automatically for, for the player players to see yeah you mm -hmm. know what you can shoot the eyes and like try to do this oh, that's uh, cool so you could cut them off by just blowing holes in yes the and routing them. yes uh so that's kind of the un unique mechanic here so um the uh, commands are given like with the circle or if you want to do an attack move which most of the time you would want to do uh yeah. you do the triangle okay so those are kind of the ba basics right mm -hmm. um yeah. but then the first thing uh, a player in an rts on pc would do is um do uh, control groups you know, mm -hmm. like, uh, okay, my infantry is in control group one, uh, tanks on two, blah, blah, blah. Of course, you don't have these buttons, no. like control it's one, no control two. That is what there uh, oh, awesome. appears. Uh, very good. Um, good so, job, like. so what do you do? What do you do is uh, if you have the, the group selected that you want, you just press down on L3 and it automatically creates a group. Oh, uh, nice. And then uh, the, the infantry, uh, if you do that again, it will cre create another group and you can cycle between them with the D-pad. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's say I want these guys to go over here, like the, the tank goes here and then I switch to that and get the um, the infantry there and have done it in like two seconds. So that's that's pretty good. Yeah, that's good. Um, I mean, for us, it was always like um, being able to wreck quickly is paramount in an RTS. So yeah, pretty important. Yeah, so we kind of had a lot of work done on that. So uh, the next thing um, uh, an RTS player on PC would do uh, is use the minimap a lot to mm. move around and send troops and stuff like that. So, but you don't have a mouse cursor on on PS4. So what we did is if you pull the left trigger, it will enlarge the minimap and you can kind of move around that with the left stick ah. so uh, there's these guys around here and I want to get that up here so that's done um, so yeah um, that is something that we implemented and I th that I think has been done so far mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the last thing that I'd like to show you about the controls is uh, a lot of units will have special skills like throwing grenades using a, a map pack yep. or whatever so if you pull the right trigger it will bring, bring up a radio menu and you can kind of use all of the skills then okay um, and then there is one thing uh, some of the skills you you will want to use much more quickly like your guys being attacked you want them to hunker down yeah um, so we did some of the hotkeys on the D-pad. Mm -hmm. So you just pull the trigger, push down, and they will hunker down it and immediately. Boom, you got yeah. it covered. Yeah. So nice. So we can be expecting. Is this when's this game gonna be released? Yeah, we are aiming for like a May June release window um, for PC, Mac, Linux, and PS4 simultaneously. Did you hear that, Blake? Did you hear your favorite word in the whole world, which is Linux? Wow. Yeah, I but could, well, most all of our games are on Linux now. Yeah, but this guy, he gets so happy the second you see Linux on anything. So you're the guy. Right happy in there. About Linux. No, he, the he's the guy. One, the one guy. Is he's the, the guy. guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, him is basically it. <laughs> so, yeah, we're doing a Linux version for you. <laughs> Thanks. It's free play. Yeah. No, 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 no. Ah, Blake. Look at the happy face on that guy when he said <laughs> Linux. That's ridiculous. Uh, so good. So all right. So we got Sud Strike 4. It's going to be out for PS4, and then it's going to be jamming in a couple months. Uh, can folks be expecting this in uh, just, like, same deal? It's going to come out in PC, PS4, and everything at the same time? Yes. Okay, cool.
Nice. So, guys, uh, check it out. Uh, take a look at this kind of thing. I think it looks great from here. And I like the fact that you're actually teaching history to folks. That Why the hell yeah. wouldn't you not know about this stuff? Yeah. I mean, come on. But I now mean, they can it, with, with each mission, you kind of unlock extra historical footage, mm -hmm. actually. So we did some research on that, got some black and white footage from back oh, in the cool. day. And, and yeah. Excellent. Hmm. Well, hopefully it's uh, royalty-free footage for us YouTubers. That would be good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we paid for that. Excellent. That's great. <laughs> That's perfect. So it means I can't use it. All right. So, <laughs> anyways, guys, uh, thanks for Chris for here for showing us Sudden Strike 4. Blake, thanks for being Linux happy. Hey, no problem. All right. And, uh, yeah, see you in the next video. Boop.